everyone welcome to ready set test today I'm taking on the orange DSM 2 module for Futaba transmitters essentially what it does is this little module here will turn your Futaba module based transmitter into a transmitter that you can use it for flying your planes with a spectrum receiver or an orange receiver or even a lemon RX receiver anything that works on a DSM 2 or DSMX protocol in the packaging there's nothing much an antenna the module itself a little leaflet here that gives you instructions on how to bind and operate this thing a little red cap here for the antenna cover and obviously a spectrum style bind plug now this has been getting lots of confusing reviews on the hobby king website and i thought i'll demystify this a little bit a lot of people thought that it didn't work or a lot of people weren't very happy with it. This actually works and it works very well. Now, I've been flying my Park Flyers with it, but it does need a certain bit of logic to set it up. Is it perfect? Uh, no, not really. Uh, has a room for improvement, but as it is, it's actually a very cost-effective solution to turning your module-based photobot transmitter into a DSM2 DSMX platform and we will now go ahead and bind this to my Futaba T10CP transmitter and then we will get on and talk about the channel assignment which is something that's been confusing a lot of people so stay tuned right so here's my Futaba T10CP transmitter and it's 10 channels and it has a module slot in the back the battery pack or cover is definitely missing we won't pay any attention to that for the time being but here is the module slot and as you can see the pins on this one are right on top so they match this spot in here obviously you know how to put a module in just insert it here until it clicks and you're good to go first of all you have to do a little check find out whether the module is getting power easy to do turn on your transmitter That faint little beep that you heard and the blue light coming on means the module is getting power. And to confirm it more, this bright green LED beep on the back, that means module is getting power. So now we are going to bind it to one of these little beauties. The orange DRX DSMX receiver is very cost effective and in my experience very good receivers for park flyers so stay tuned while we bind this so to bind it to an orange receiver or an equivalent spectrum receiver or lemon receiver you'll have to do this process obviously i'm showing this to you on an orange rx but it works almost the same for each and every one of them obviously you take the jumper and you jump the slot where it says battery and bind There we go. And then you're going to take a little receiver pack and connect it to the throttle port. And as you can see, the orange has started beeping. This beeping means now it's in bind mode. It's ready to receive signal from the transmitter. You take the transmitter and if you can notice, there's a button in here saying bind, a little black rubber button. You want to hold on to this while you turn on the transmitter. Wait for the orange receiver to stop flashing and go solid light. Let off the button. Now the receiver and the transmitter are bound together. Okay, now we are going to work on the channel assignment part, which is the one that got a lot of people confused. Now here I have uh, this receiver bound to the transmitter and I have done it exactly as spectrum would ask you to throttle to throttle elevator to elevator aileron to aileron and rudder to rudder and as you can see right now things are not going right the throttle is beeping constantly and the other channels are not working as they should i'm going to unplug this what's happening is that spectrum's code of channel order 
is not matching with the code of Futaba in here. Now, you might think that it's a universal thing, just like USB chargers, but that's not the case. Actually, different transmitter manufacturers use different channel order code for the first four channels, which are somehow preset. Spectrum seems to go in a direction where throttle is one, but Futaba goes into a direction where aileron is one. Here's a little schematic of how this thing works. Take this for instance. Spectrum works on a TAER, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder system. Futaba works on AETR, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. As you can see, apart from rudder matching rudder, all the other channels have a basic fundamental clash with each other. And that is what making the transmitter and both the receiver go kind of mad. Now, that's where a lot of people have also had problems. It's a very easy way to solve this problem if you're using a standalone Spectrum or Orange receiver. But if you're using a Spectrum bind and fly mini flyers with a built-in receiver, then you will have to do a system update on it, for which I believe you have to buy an updating kit from Hobby King. But right now I'm talking about using it with absolute standalone receivers. So, keeping this schematic in mind, I'll just slide it over to the other side and let's bring our things back into the equation. Let's keep the schematic in here so that you know what is going on. Now, as you can see, there is, there are our plugs. So what we need to do is, in order to get the right aileron, we need to plug the Futaba aileron, because we're using Futaba, into the Spectrum throttle. And this is interesting in here. So I'm going to pull these, and I'm going to do, we're going to use this uh, black servo in here. Use this for aileron, so aileron goes into throttle. As you can see, elevator goes to aileron, so elevator to aileron, throttle goes to elevator, and this is probably the most con the baffling part. Your ESC will plug in to elevator in the orange or the spectrum receiver instead of plugging into throttle. Sorry if I'm having a little bit of a problem focusing. And last but not least, as I said, rudder is obviously rudder. Now, there's an order of our channels. So let's get this out of the way. You can pause and have a look at this as many times as you want. This is basically your channel schematic. We'll move this forward in here to get the servos into the shot. And we will plug in our LiPo. Now it's all connected. As you can see, the first difference is there you go, the beep of confirmation, something we're all used to hearing. This now shows that the ESC is connected in the right place and it's getting a power from a three cells. You heard three beeps in there. So just to check, let me move this a little bit away. I'm moving the aileron stick, aileron servo moves, elevator moves elevator, rudder moves rudder, and most importantly, if I bring the motor back into it, throttle moves the throttle. You can see here. And there you go. It's almost as easy as that to solve. Again, as I said, this formula works for Spectrum and Orange RX and Lemon RX receivers. So this is a very cost-effective way of solving that issue. It has had a lot of very negative reviews and I just wanted to sort this out but to be very frank and as a conclusion of this video is this unit perfect no it isn't could it have done be could it have been done better yes I mean wouldn't have taken a lot more just to update it actually and uh, give us that capacity where the channels are automatically related to Futaba but obviously that hasn't happened but again, as I said, for £25 or $30, it's still a very cost-effective way of getting Spectrum onto your Futaba receiver, as long as you remember how to plug in the channels. So once again, 
this is all you need to remember and as long as you plug them like this your model will work flawlessly and let me say something about the range as well because I have flown with this and as far as my eye could see the edge of visual range I had no problem with receiving I had problems seeing the model and where the hell it was going but had no problem getting any receptions out of it so here are my thoughts on the Futaba DSM2 module for Futaba transmitters it's made by Orange and uh, if you like this little tutorial or whatever you want to call it please subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be coming out with more videos soon just demystifying some of this stuff again thanks for being at ready set test bye